hi everyone you're welcome to another video you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello welcome my name is dolakbo if you're an old subscriber welcome back and thank you for clicking today's video is on how to make an another type of turban design the materials i'll be using are my fabric i'm using the raw silk fabric here it is stretchy okay and i have the soft foam it's about a quarter inch width and i have my needle and thread glue gun and the glue stick i also have my measuring tape so i have two pieces cut out to start with as usual these are for the body and for the band of the turban okay so the body of the turban is 23 inches width by the depth 13 inches the 23 inches width is the head circumference part while the depth is the 13 inches i also have my band and the measurement is the same 23 inches by 5 inches length i have the wrong side of the band facing up and i fold into two and i'm going to place it on the body of the turban and i'm going to just place it this way and i will just turn um, stitch from one end to the other end now i have another piece of fabric which i'm going to be using for part of the design and the measurement is what you can see on the screen 28 inches by 6.5 inches width 28 inches by 6.5 inches width yes i started with 28 inches length it's always better to have it in excess a little so you can trim off any excess just in case it's better than having a shortage and with the right side of the fabric facing up i fold it in half and i will stitch from one end to the other end here is another piece of fabric which i have cut out i'll be using this too for part of the design and the measurement is 25 inches width 25 inches width by 18 inches length so i folded it in half and i will stitch I folded it in half and I stitched from one end to the other end. Now I have my foam ready with the measurement 23 inches, 23 inches by 9 inches. Okay, let me just explain how I got the 9 inches. This fabric is what we're going to be using to cover the foam. So the length is 18 inches, right? Now this 18 inches was divided into two to give us nine inches so these are nine inches i'll be using to cut out or which i use to cut out my foam and then um, you could just leave i mean make it about 8.9 so that we can have an ease allowance for us to insert the foam into the fabric when it is time okay so i have the band and the body of the joined together okay and i'll just keep it aside Now over to the two pieces which I said were meant for the design. I have stitched as I explained and I will just bring out the right side. Okay. I did this on the second piece as well. Okay, so I have the pieces turned out. This is turned inside out. And I make sure that the seam is for I'll make sure that the seam falls on the center now to the wider one you can see me insert my foam into it like this just inserted my foam into it like this then i use my palm to straighten it up now over to the body of the turban i just folded it into two and I just uh, marked out the shape that I wanted and I used my scissors to cut it out. Now I'm going to place now I'm going to place one of the pieces onto the cap like this. 
um, I'll be starting from about one inch away from where the band is okay from there as one inch as you can see and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch after stitching I just went ahead to use my glue gun and please before then please note that the stretchy part of the fabric is where I cut this piece so that it will be easier for it to be put on the edge okay so I measured again I have 23 inches and I divided by two so as to get the midpoint so I have uh, more than 11 inches so I'll just place that there and get the center of this cap okay now having gotten the midpoint I'll just go ahead and fix this piece onto the body of the turban to the point that I marked okay using my alt glue I'll just fix it that and stop on the mark now look at where I applied my glue I applied my glue on the on that um, point where we have the stitches that's the body and the band that point that we have them joined together as well I'll be placing my glue When you can see me apply pressure on it to make it stick, you can as well use needle and thread if you know how to do invisible tacking. Okay, so that you have a very good job. I come to the back of the piece as well and I glue it to the cap as you can see. Now over to the piece of fabric that has the foam in it. I folded it into two this way and I marked the center. Okay, it was just for us to get the center. Okay, now I'm going to fold this way just watch what i'm doing i'll just fold like roll it over it like this and on at the midpoint i'll place the midpoint on top of the other piece of fabric all right and i'll get someone to hold it down for me i have my daughter here to assist and i'm going to twist i'll just go ahead and twist so i'll just twist like that and i'll uh, use my needle and thread to tag the end okay so i've secured the end of the twisted uh, piece and I'm going to be using my needle and thread as well to tack it down to the base. Okay, I had to place it on my mannequin and so I can get it perfectly, okay? So I just place it and I bent it a little and I tack. If you tack it down to your base straight, it's going to look funny at the end of the day. Okay, so I've tacked it down there and I have this left, um, the piece on my left hand. Which I'm going to also tack to the body of the turban, and you can see me cut off the excesses. It's always better to have in excess rather than having it in shortage. So I am going to place the piece of fabric on the other side, like I did the first time, and I'm going to stitch. Okay, so this is what we have, and um, at this point, I'm going to use my glue to fix the two-step part to the base. Okay, I'll just use my glue to do that. So I went ahead to use my needle and thread to tack the two-step part to the body of the turban. You can use glue to fix that if you want, just like I explained earlier. I made sure I bent it while I was tacking. You are not meant to stack straight. If you tack it straight, it's not going to relax. And once that is done, I just went ahead to fold the piece of what you're seeing right now. I'm just going to fold it like this and um, I'll stitch like that. After which I'm going to gather it up like we make a normal turban. Okay, I'll just stitch like that and I'll just get it with my needle and thread. I hope you understand this part. If you don't get this part, please, I'll advise you 
check my other videos so our turban cap is ready please make sure you seal the ends of your fabric if you are making it for a client this was just done for the purpose of this video i hope you enjoyed this video please let me like and share with others leave a comment below and do not forget to subscribe here to join this family i hope to see you all in our next tutorial thank you very much bye